For this video, I'm going to be demonstrating how to rescue a man overboard while sailing. So we're going to be starting off in our sailing position here, and one of our crew members has just fallen off the boat here. So we have a man overboard in the water, and first thing we have to do is to shout man overboard, to let other water users know that there's somebody in the water, and to be careful. A second thing we have to do for this rescue is to turn onto a beam reach and sail eight to ten boat lengths across on the beam reach. Um, then we have to put a tack in, which will allow us to turn back towards the man overboard. Shown here with arrows. Um, the reason why we do a tack is that it's much more stable than a jibe and it ensures that not, we're not gonna lose any other crew. We're gonna try to pick up this man safe, as safely as possible. The fourth step here is to continue on a broad reach down towards our man overboard. And we're gonna turn up, facing upwind on a close reach to try and slowly uh, approach our man overboard using the fill and spill technique. So depending on the distance away between the boat and the man overboard, we're gonna fill our sail and we're gonna release the sail to depower it. When we approach our man overboard, we're gonna fully depower our sail and turn into the wind as to almost nearly stop the boat. We're gonna come around and pick up our man overboard on the windward side. If the man overboard is struggling to get on the boat, we might need to use his buoyancy aid as leverage to pull him back onto the boat and to safety. And this is my demonstration of how to pick up a man overboard. Uh, just a quick explanation on why we pick up on close reach point of sail rather than close haul point of sail, is that the close reach point of sail gives us more margin for error as we, if we're coming, if we're coming too low, we can still turn upwind to come pick him up on the windward side. Um, so that's my demonstration of a man on board. I hope it's been helpful.